Hello, ladies and I'm sorry. My cat keeps interfering in all my videos. Let's do that again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Conan at Dark Horse overview, where we're going to look at the Conan run at Dark Horse now that that run is over and Conan is back with Marvel. So, these are all the books that basically came out uh, when Dark Horse, when Dark Horse had the Conan rights. Now I have, I'm sorry, I have it all in trades and in hardcover. So I have this and this one as well. But let's go through the books here. Let's start with what is kind of logical. This is volume. Uh, okay, let's see here. There we go. Volume zero the first one born on the battlefield so this is the first volume of conan came out and obviously went on from that up from there with volumes one you know two three four five six seven Volume 7 is where I began reading this series. It's what I picked up. Because you can actually pick it up at any point. It just said Conan the Sumerian, which is a renaming. Because of these first six volumes was Conan the Barbarian. And this one started with Conan the Sumerian. It is Volume 7, though. But it is a new... Issue one, sort of say in a way, but they it really isn't because they just they just renamed the book. They renamed the title. This is stuff you can't go wrong with. Either. This is a perfect start. Really, really great artwork. Um, the Dark Horse trade paperbacks are the. Yeah, the thick covers, thick paper, and the actual pages inside are also, also thicker, which is great. So the books are a lot heavier because they're thicker. Because it's, it's heavier books, heavier paper, sort of say, which is good. I really, really enjoy this. I really like it. So you had Conan the Barbarian, then you had Conan the Sumerian. And turn into King Conan, Conan Road of Kings, and all that. And uh, now I, in the end, stopped getting the trades and eventually went on to the hardcovers. So it turned to 20 volumes of Conan. Or 21 if you count, obviously, volume zero. So 21 volumes of the ongoing Conan series. And then last year, they released this, the Conan Reader, which basically collects all of the miniseries that came out. They did the limited stuff, like People of the Black Circle, Jewels of Gwalor, Songs of the Dead, Book of Toth, the Daughters of Medora, Helm, Seats of Empire, The Bloodstained Crown, Storyteller, In the Tower of Tara Teth, Island of No Return, Short Stories, Conan's Favorite Joke Trophy, Kiss of the Undead, Children of the Sun, and a Gallery. So this is an omnibus size book. This is over 700 pages of this. Uh, so you get a lot of book whenever you buy a book of this. Here we go, Road of Kings. Let's have a look at this. And you look at the writers that have been here, you see Roy Thomas, it's uh, Kurt Busiek, it's uh, Tim Tru Truman, and Fred Van Lenti, and Brian Wood. It's, it's the cream of the crop. You can see like this, look at this. Kurt Busiek, Peter Russell, Timothy Truman, Kelly Jones, Fred Van Lenti, Ariel Olivetti, Jimmy Palmiotti, Mark Teixeira. I mean, that is not an all-star cast. I don't know what it is. 
But if you're a Conan fan, you should get these. This is one way to collect them. The trades and the hardcovers, you can obviously get the giant sized omnibuses they released, but you can also get the smaller omnibuses <coughs> the Dark Horse released. Now that this, the Liza Conan license is back with Marvel, you can obviously get the epic collections, Conan epic collections, which starts collecting this run. And of course you have the, the other uh, omnibuses they're releasing, but that's the old 70s stuff that ran from the 70s through the mid 90s. And um, after the mid 90s, they sort of, I don't know the entire history there, but they stopped publishing Conan basically and, and it went to Marvel, or, or <laughs> it went from Marvel to Dark Horse and Dark Horse had it until this year 2019 when it went back back to marvel and and uh, so far marvel has been pushing out two omnibuses a bunch of epic collections and um a lot of ongoing series there's at least you know conan the savage sword of conan and age of bel eight balit this is called there is two more books that i need to show you so you're gonna walk with me here now as i go over it's my PlayStation. I'm playing uh, Crash Bandicoot. There's two more books. Here we go. Let's take those with us. Get back. That is when they started a new volume. So this is Conan the Slayer volumes. Uh, let's see here where we can see that. Well, it's volume one and two. Anyway, let's see. Can we see there's volumes one and two here? No, we really can't. But they didn't keep up the number here because it ended with volume ended with volume twenty. So this should be volume twenty one and twenty two. But this was new. So this is Colin Bunn actually doing the writing the Conan the Slayer books. So this is uh, yeah. I'm a huge fan of Conan. Obviously, you can get the the Chronicles of Conan and the Chronicles of Savage Sword of Conan and all that. By the way, talking about that, let's go over here again and because I have some of those or some, I only have three. I'm sorry. No, we go back. Let's talk about those in a second. This is Savage Sword of Conan, volume 20. I just picked up a random Savage Sword of Conan. You have the Chronicles of Conan, you have the Chronicles of King Conan, which basically collects all of the Marvel books. This is like, this is an essential type style book. It has like, you know, six, seven hundred, eight hundred pages of black and white stuff. All black and white, but it's... Look at the detail in that artwork. That's awesome. The artwork is great. Don't know if it says. It doesn't say what it collects really. Just Savage Sword of Conan. Does it say the issues? Hmm. Let's find out. We can we can find if we can find out what it collects. Says the names of the issues, not the numbering. So it starts with number 202, Savage Sword of Conan, I guess. Good stuff. You also have a companion books, the Savage Sword of Call. Volumes. This is volume one. And Volume 2, Savage Sword of Call. I don't think... Here we go. Here we go. This one collects Savage Tales 2, Savage Sword of Conan, 1, 2, 3, 7, 9. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of issues. Conan, the Barbarians, 1, 3, 3. The Savage Sword, blah, 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 blah. 
volume two, just Cole didn't have his own book. He was in the set, Conan. Cole was in the Conan books. Then you have, of course, another hero or heroess character that is related with Conan is uh, Red Sonia. Red Sonia is with Dynamite and um, they just pretty much recently this year relaunched Red Sonia with a new number one which I do recommend. I read the first like three issues and it's great. It's really really great. They're going back to the old, uh, old days of Red Sonia. So Red Sonia, Cole and Conan are all co collect Connected, not collected, connected. It's really great to see them all. So, this is what Conan and Dark Horse looks like. The ongoing 20 volumes, Conan 2 volumes of Conan the Slayer. And then you get this, the Conan Reader. So, as I said, you can get it in different, different uh, styles. Get the, tr get, get the trades like I have with the hardcovers. So I have the trades up until volume, whenever I started, volume 14 is there. So vol 13 volumes of the trades, and then I went over to the hardcovers. Um, let's have a look at the hardcovers. I'll actually show you what they look like when you take away. It's nothing special. Classic stuff, and it's, you know, it's Dark Horse quality. Can't go wrong with it. So, with volume zero, 21 volumes in total, plus the two new ones, so 21. 23 volumes in this one, you get all the mini series, and you pretty much have the entire run. So about, you know, 25 books in total get the entire run of Conan and Dark Horse and, and I recommend it all. I read it all and it's great. It's really, really is great. I'm a huge fan of Conan. If you want to get away from superheroes and, and, and stuff like that, you can get some sword and sorcery with your Conan. And uh, call as well. I don't know if these are in print anymore. They uh, seem to be Seem to be gone, these Savage Sword of Conan books. No call. Savage Sword of Conan are get going out of print. It's a cheap way to get a lot of the 70s and 80s run of Conan. But obviously now they're coming up with the omnibuses, so two have been released and there are at least three more been announced. So um I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick overview of uh, Conan and Dark Horse. Uh, give me a thumb up, comment if this is a type of video you enjoy. If you want to see anything more like this, uh, please let me know. And well, until next time, have a good one, folks.